and discover the world in so many ways, as J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, not all those who wander are lost. Oh, wander are lost. Oh, okay. And this one. I'm doing it by heat. Oh. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Hold on. I need some of my soup. It's going to get cold. Oh, it's okay if it's cold, though. Because I have the hot pepper. Mm. It's still warm. Mm. I know I'll be fine. Remember, if you lose friends, they don't treat you right. Send them with love and light. Bless them and send them on their way. Because <laughs> I deserve better. I deserve people that are love love me and tell me and are kind to me. And don't exploit me. Oh my God. Beauty is subjective. <laughs> Beauty is subjective. All right, tennis swords. <coughs> the glasses will pop up, I guess. I keep poking from. They'll pop up. Fuck, that made me high like off the bat. Woo! That's a strong one. I paid $45 for it, I guess. It's good stuff. All right, let me get this page. Okay, hold on. Let's read this and try to decipher the whole process here. Okay, Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm used to Ten of Swords, how they all stab me in the back, this group of people. Hmm, you know who you are. I'm not talking about Ricky. I'm talking about Annie, Melody, Boogie. But most of all, the big stabber of all is Monica. Okay. Oh, I had to let that out. Okay. Go ahead and watch my videos. I don't care. <sighs> Victimize, restoration, transformation. Oh. Well, this might not be that bad. We'll see. I hope it's not. Dramatic events have led you to strongly reavail all areas of your life. You're letting go of what does not serve you anymore, purging all the excess baggage so that you can begin a new cycle. Wise for your life experiences. Old beliefs no longer resonate with you, and you are shifting your perspective, avoiding change to avoid pain, just prolongs the inevitable. That's why, why I tossed them all out. Uh, I'm like, they're keeping me, they're holding me back from my dreams, from making money, from entrepreneurship. This back and forth bullshit with them. Oh. Personal transformation requires that you let go of something old so that you can make room for something new. Constant thought chatter okay i let go of monica so that i could actually comment on misty's videos which i have been watching for years by the way monica i left someone who is a psychopath a narcissist who makes narcissism videos i've always known this by the way we, me and Misty have talked about it quite a lot. <laughs> okay. Mm, mm, mm. There's more to it. Okay. Could Jesus speak to me? <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit's coming through. <sighs> Holy Spirit helps my soul, man. Um, constant thought chatter about worst case scenarios has you worrying about the future, paralyzing you from living in the present. Take inventory of thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes and clearly label the ones you want to keep and the ones you want to throw away. Allow your awareness to help you grow from your experiences. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> 20 minutes this video. Well, that was my reading. I mean, there's no more cards. There's no, don't touch any more, car, pick any more cards. <sighs> Star. Yeah, in upright. Poor guy must be hurting his side play a dual role of pretending with his friends to hate me that it oh and then like putting him up to betraying me and I know it would kill him to betray me so I just tossed them all out now I'm, I, he should feel relief he doesn't have to do the betrayal act Monica let it slip out. I didn't have to do any spying at all. She let it slip out. Her own words. Her hate for Misty came through. And she, after I tossed her out, she admitted she was making narcissism videos just to hate on Misty. Not to benefit mankind or womankind or anybody or humanity. It's for her own selfish purposes. Huh. That's what she wants to do with her life. Copy people. Be a fraud. Good. Good for you. <laughs> Shit, shit. I want to be original. <laughs> mm. Well. Pretending that you hate me, but actually... You feel bad that it all happens that way, so. I feel bad about it, too. What are you going to do? That's the hand I was dealt. <laughs> Nobody in that fucking group wants to stand up for me, stick up for me, or, or really have anything to do with me, and they just keep lying about me. Yep. And uh, they're cruel. They're hypocrites. They're, they're assholes. <clears throat> if that's what they want to be when they grow up, more power to them. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in therapy session right now. <laughs> you know? This marijuana makes me feel a little better. And already the CBDs helping my... Mm. Now it's not my side that hurts. My low spine, I have scoliosis in my lower part of my spine. Uh, it's feeling much better. It was hurting earlier. <sighs> Just like if it leaves it and like... Uh, it'll loosen it and I pop. My hip will pop. Hmm. Huh. Don't get old. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's part of life. All right, that's my video. Let's try not to be so petty and calm down. And and, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to hate on Ricky because he was a good best friend, but I just, it was just too much. It, it wasn't that he was watching the other people's videos and it wasn't that he was befriending them and they were f friends for a long, long, long time. It wasn't that. Uh, it was that 
he wouldn't stick up for me. And he threw me under the bus with all the rest of them did. That's how I feel. If there's any other different way about it, you should tell me. Like, you know, get off your ass and tell me other ways. I ain't looking back. <laughs> Bye-bye.